guys welcome back to my channel first of all I'm sorry uh, for my delay well unfortunately the month of July uh, was a little busy well because of my job uh, the deserved vacation but uh, finally I'm back and uh, I can shoot a new video about uh, uh, the game, well, about the game Lion of Judah, again about uh, the Italian, the second Italian Ethiopian war uh, fought uh, in, the, in Africa in 1935 and 1936. First of all, uh, uh, I want to, well, I want to underline that uh, I didn't know so much about the topic. Yes, I'm from Italy, but frankly, I, I'm not so interested in this, uh, in this battle, in this uh, uh, campaign, this African campaign led by Mussolini. But uh, I could read some uh, quickly some books. I want to underline uh, the book uh, uh, recently written by uh, Theodore M. Vestal uh, entitled uh, uh, The Lion of Judah uh, in the New World. Well, please remember that uh, uh, Ali Selassie well, was uh, well known in the United States and uh, it was considered a sort of uh, uh, African uh, model to import uh, in the United States and uh, well what can we say well the game uh, contains uh, two uh, main scenario uh, the first one is about uh, uh, the, the second Italian Ethiopian war and the second one is about uh, uh, the, uh, the second uh, famous uh, strategic campaign between the Italians, between the Italian army and the Allied army in 1941. So I hope that you can enjoy my video and uh, I want to highlight that I'm going to shoot two videos. One about the unboxing, the, uh, the typical unboxing of a game and the second one about uh, uh, the analysis of the game, of the game system. Well, uh, thanks, uh, thanks a lot for now and uh, stay tuned. Bye. Well guys, uh, here we are in front of you uh, the box of Lion of Judah, this uh, new game uh, by the Compass Games, The War for Ethiopia. I want to, I want to remember that uh, you can find uh, two big scenarios uh, one scenario that uh, portrays uh, uh, the war between uh, the uh, Italian army and the Ethiopian one and uh, uh, the other uh, uh, big scenario uh, set in 1941 where we find the Italian army against uh, the, uh, the Allied army, against the British army. Anyway, let's have a look uh, at uh, the, the picture on the, on the box. Well, uh, very, very good, vivid colors. You can, uh, you can see the African horn uh, with the capital Addis Abeba. Uh, on, on the right, you find uh, an, Italian, uh, an Italian colonial uh, soldier and you find the typical uh, colors uh, of the Ethiopian flag, uh, the symbol, the lion, and so very, very good. Well, and we can define this uh, uh, box very attractive. On the back uh, of the box, uh, we find, well, let's have a look. Uh, uh, well, you, there is uh, a picture about the map. Uh, two players, uh, obviously, uh, no idea about uh, the solitaire suitability. Well, please remember, I think that uh, by considering the forces uh, on the field uh, in 1945, 1936, well, I think that the game is not so balanced. So I think that uh, we can have a high uh, solitaire playability. Uh, why? Because I think that uh, the, uh, the game is not uh, balanced. So you can consider, above all, the, uh, the Italian-Ethiopian War a sort of uh, game and uh, historical study. 
Well, uh, what about the unit scale? Uh, mostly brigades and divisions. The scale is uh, quite large. One hex corresponds to 46 miles and uh, one turn equals one month. So a uh, um, complete uh, strategic game designed by the Spanish uh, Javier Romero uh, well, uh, developer came in Bernats, and well, uh, it's uh, interesting. Notice the name about the graphic design, uh, not uh, Grunitz, probably uh, is uh, uh, a German guy. And uh, the box cover design uh, was made uh, by Grunitz and uh, Brian Miller. Well, I repeat, uh, well, Lion of, Ju uh, Lion of Judah is a simulation about, at first, about the Italian invasion, as well as the subsequent Allied liberation of five years later. But let's open the box and let's discover the main components. Well, we find at first two dies, one green die, uh, one red one, well, the yellow is missing, so we uh, would uh, have preferred another another die a yellow a yellow one the uh, the good catalog concerning the uh, the production the last games uh, um, the last uh, compass games well uh, mm, a lot of games uh, the compass uh, is uh, uh, producing uh, probably mm, a lot and uh, i don't know if uh, uh, all the games produced by Compass uh, will be a success. Well, two, uh, two player aids. Well, we find several tables. Well, uh, um, the traditional turn effect chart. Well, there is um, an, Ethiop an Ethiopian uh, combat chart and we have a, a general uh, combat uh, table. And uh, obviously we have a tribal, tribal faction set up, a reinforcement. Well, obviously, please remember that uh, we cannot speak of a well-defined regular army uh, when we are dealing with the uh, Ethiopian guys. So probably this uh, table well uh, foresees uh, uh, the deployment of several tribes during the uh, during the Italian invasion. Well, a uh, random event summary, another table that concerns uh, the uh, events that uh, can affect uh, uh, the campaign. Uh, please remember that uh, uh, before uh, um, every operations, the players uh, has to have to draw some uh, events that obviously can uh, I repeat can affect uh, the uh, the combat operation well we have uh, the 1936 uh, 36 uh, 35 36 scenario card well well done uh, very clear and uh, uh, 1935 and 1930 well, uh, uh, um, the unit key, well, the, uh, very, very useful to remember uh, all the information coming from the counters. Another uh, player aid, I repeat, we find two player aids. And, well, the counter sheet, this is the counter sheet number one. Uh, the counter sheet uh, uh, concerning the second uh, Italian-Ethiopian war. Well, um, a basic, a basic uh, graphic, nothing of peculiar. Well, uh, we find uh, black, uh, uh, the black shirts, uh, the regular Italian division, and the red ones. Uh, frankly, I don't remember uh, why um, we find these differences. Anyway, I repeat, uh, um, graphic. Uh, uh, the graphic is a very basic, nothing of a peculiar. Probably uh, they are a little better the uh, silhouettes that we find uh, concerning the um, the tankette, the micro tanks, the Italian tankette. Uh, we find uh, the uh, silhouettes uh, uh, concerning the Italian planes. Well, um, probably uh, a little uh, uh, better uh, uh, the uh, counters, the Ethiopian counters. 
well, mm, we find uh, different colors, but uh, uh, nothing more. Well, uh, I would have expected, uh, uh, for example, some uh, silhouette concerning the, uh, uh, the typical Ethiopian uh, warrior. Well, so I repeat, uh, uh, sufficient, but nothing more. Well, uh, the second counter sheet, uh, the second counter sheet uh, concerns uh, the uh, the campaign of 1940-41. Uh, again, uh, this time we find the uh, British, uh, the British Army. Well, and uh, well, last but not least, uh, the map. Well, the map is uh, well done. Well, uh, the colors are vivid, but uh, um, they don't bother the, the site. Well, mm, we don't find much room for the movements. So I think that uh, uh, the strategic uh, plans uh, are quite uh, obliged. Well, this is uh, an initial impression. I'm going to check that when I'm going to when I'll play the game. Well, uh, the playbook, vivid colors too. Well, uh, we find we have uh, 24 pages. Well, the uh, initial setup uh, uh, about the 1940 scenario. What about uh, the 1935 uh, scenario? Well, there isn't. Let me see. Playbook. What? Well, playbook. Uh, only the setup concerning the 1940 scenario. Well, uh, well done. Playbook and standard rules. Each game should have these two booklets. Standard rules, but a necessary and absolutely necessary playbook. Well, guys, that's all for the moment and please stay tuned for the coming soon video about the analysis of the game system. Bye!